Hi everyone, it's Di here from Di's Den and this week I thought I would show you this beautiful card. Um, this card is using the Under the Umbrella bundle and, um, and a brayer technique. So, and that's the inside, but my inside will be a tiny bit different on my next card. I'm also, so let me show you the set. I'm going to be using this set called Under the under My Umbrella, which comes with this beautiful punch, um, which are absolutely gorgeous as a bundle. You can pick them up and save 10%. So let's have a look. We're going to use our Happy Birthday out of the Magnolia Blooms, oops, Blooms again, um, as I really, really like the font on that one there. Um, and we're going to use the So Sentimental framelits again which we are going to use this large one here this outside one if I can get it out um, this one here which is really really quite gorgeous lovely shape and we're going to use the third largest so the third size down third smallest whatever um, third one down anyway of the stitch frame like rectangles with the um, scalloped edge and that's all we're going to use out of that set so let's get started and let's show you what we need for this card I'm going to do it in a different color uh, not really different but the umbrella will be in a different color that's for sure so let's pop my card on one side oops let's find somewhere to put it and we'll bring in what we need so we're going to need a card base and I'm doing mine in white and this measures four and one eighth by eleven and three quarters we're going to need an insert that measures five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, along with a white insert that measures five and three eighths by three and five eighths. For our front layers, we're going to use another yellow piece that measures two and a half by five and seven eighths, and a white piece that measures two and a quarter by five and seven eighths. Oh, excuse me, I get itchy nose. Still, seems like three weeks in a row I've had an itchy nose. Must be the dust in the air for being springtime, uh, autumn time. Okay, for our um, scallop edge rectangle, my piece was a bit bigger because that was all that was left over when I was cutting out, so I didn't worry about cutting it off. But this will measure two and a quarter by three and three quarters to get this size out of. And for our other scallop, I don't know what you want to call it, frame thing. Uh, well, you'll need a piece that measures three by three and three quarter inches. You'll need a piece of um, designer paper in whatever colour you're doing yours in. Um, this is retired, I know, but it's just so beautiful and it goes so beautifully with the yellow in this. So, this measures, oh, how can I about this in these inches? Um, about four and a half by three inches. It will depend on how well you, you chop them out of your um, punch to how much you're going to need, but uh, roughly about that piece. You'll need a piece of ribbon that is about 12 inches in length. Um, that's out of my stash. And I've got a little bit of black here just for the handles on the um, umbrellas because I didn't want to do them in the same colour as that. So let's get stuck into what we want to do here. So we're going to start out by scoring our main card, which we're going to score on the long side at the 5 and 7 eighth march, which is the one notch under the 6. And that's all the scoring we're going to do. So that's really, really good. All right, the other thing you will need is a brayer. I have a sponge brayer, so let's do that. And I'm doing a little bit of embossing. I didn't tell you all about that, did I? We are going to use um, Memento and um, Melon Mambo ink and a clear embossing powder, all white. doesn't really matter which. So anyway, we've, we've scored our card, so that's the main thing that's out of the way now. So what we're going to do next is we're going to do our bit of stamping in our main cup, in our um, 
memento to start off with. So we're going to stamp our happy birthday wherever I put it. Here we are. On the inside of our card. And then that can just sit on one side for now. Whoops. There we go. So that's that. I'll pop that over there out of the way. And we're going to stamp on here. We're going to stamp on here. Hello sunshine. So we're going to stamp that at the top on our white framelit and we're also going to stamp our boots down the bottom here and we have our larger of the flowers out of the <coughs> set so out of this set we're going to use one of these, these large flowers here the boots the raindrops the two umbrellas and I'm not we're going, we're not going to worry about the handles uh, the two umbrellas, the small flower, that one I think it is, and the Hello Sunshine. So we're going to stamp our other our flowers up the top here. Whoops. And that's all our stamping for the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to colour in our boot. So I've got here um, Daffodil Delight in the light and the dark, and I'm going to colour my boots in... Oh, if I can get the lid off, with the yellow, the Daffodil Delight light. And then I'm going to colour with the dark. Just so that it sort of looks like they're rounded. Whoops, my phone. pictures are going everywhere. And then over the top of them again, just to blend it in with the light. At the moment you won't see much, but as it dries, you will see those lines. I'm going to use my <coughs> marker pens for the flowers because they're very, very small. So I'm using my Regals with the old olive just for the leaves because these are just so small it's to me it's just pointless using my blender pens I'm going to use my brights for my mango melody for the flowers So flowers done, except for the yellow, which I will use my Daffodil Delight for my flowers. And I'm just going to use my, wherever I've done them, my neutrals. And I'm going to use the lightest grey, which is Smoky Slate, just to colour in at the top of the boot here where there's this gap and just around the boot to give a bit of shadow in and that's all the colouring we're going to do on our first frame it let's pop that out of the way for a moment okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to layer this onto here just like so so that on the corners is what shows so we'll just use a bit of tape I have some uh, tear and tape here and I'm just putting three pieces of tear and tape down the center part because the rest you won't see and we don't want to put it on and it sticks to the rest of the card so we're going to pop them out of the way. I forgot to bring my rubbish bin with me today. And we're going to pop this onto here. So this idea came from a card that Tina Golesby showed us a few weeks back when we did a, a stamping bee here at my home. And I have 
upscaled it a tiny bit or changed it so that it's not exactly the same and this is my version of it so that's that part of that done next the bit of stamping we're going to do next and I forgot to bring my um, oh what do you call it Versamark with me so bear with me please hang on I am back again and I have with me my Versamark so sorry about that um when we did this with Tina she did um what she called resist I am actually going to um put some embossing powder over the top of mine so I'm going to use the stamp that looks like raindrops and I'm going to making sure I've got my raindrops up the right way I'm going to stamp my card with raindrops my white piece of card with raindrops all the way down and I'm putting them on an angle like rain would be and I'm then going to pop my lid on that and get my piece of card and pop my piece on here and I'm putting my clear embossing powder over the raindrops I think I've got them all let's just double check yes okay let's put my bossing powder away pop it away so we don't knock it over let's pop the lid on it and I'm going to bring in my embossing heat tool and I'm going to just heat this up embossed um, what do you call them raindrops so now I'm going to just bring in my I've done one before as you can see so we'll just use the same thing and I'm going to just pop a tiny little piece of, of tear and tape on the back just so that it stays in place while I do my braiding so we're going to pop this on to our piece of card a uh, piece of scratch paper here and using my brayer and my melon mambo, I'm going to run my brush or my brayer through my, bringing it back towards me but lifting all the time. And then I'm going to roll up my paper. making sure I don't leave lines but getting lighter at one end and darker at the other now don't worry at the present time you can't see your raindrops very well because we will see them better in a few moments not pressing too hard on your paper because you don't want to leave lines I've got 
I have a bit of a line there. When you're really happy with the way that's done, which I'm starting to get there, we will stop, which is about now for me. Whoops, let's pop the lid on this. And while that's still stuck down, let's pop that out of the way. I don't want that getting on my tablecloth, so I'll pop that out of the way. I'm just going to bring in our tissue. And with my tissue, I'm going to rub over this. Whoops. And you will see your raindrops really start to appear now. Onto your paper. You'll get a little bit of ink off, not a real lot. But it, and that's only because that's on top of your embossed. So once you're happy with that, let's move that out of the way and unstick our piece of card from our scratch paper and we are ready to carry on with the rest of our cards. So we are now going to glue this onto our yellow piece of card. If you wish you can take your tape off the back. If you have double um, positional pull tape that's even better but if you don't just a little bit like that would be fine. We're going to pop this through the middle of this piece so that it lines up at the top and the bottom. And in this case it's just a tiny bit off I think. It's a tiny, tiny bit off. So we'll just trim that off there. And we're going to then glue this to the front of our card. And I'm going to glue it so that, sorry, I have about a finger width of the white showing on the left hand side. If you are very particular over that, you can measure that. It should probably be about a half an inch. So let's pop that onto the front of our card, making sure that it's butted up against the top edge and the bottom edge. If it's like me, it looks like it's a little bit long again, which it is, I will just trim that to match. Whoops. There we go. And that's the front of our card. We can, while we're still here, we might as well glue in our insert. Because I think that's about all the gluing. Oh no, we've got a tiny bit more gluing to do, but not till a bit later. Pop the lid on that out of the way and pop our insert into the card. Oh, let's pop our insert onto our layer first. <laughs> that wasn't very clever, was it? And then pop that into the card. That would even work out a lot better, wouldn't it? It would even look a lot nicer. into there and this onto the inside of our card now that looks a bit better than before okay so now we have our layers on the front of our card I'm just making sure they're nice and flat and what we are going to do now is we're going to get a piece of the tear and tape and I'm going to pop this around about halfway down and it's only got to be about an inch and a half two inches long and I'm going to pop it just along the edge of the pink piece and take the top layer off and I'm going to lay my ribbon across here now so I'm going to lay my ribbon across and back and across again down that piece whoops maybe a bit higher like so and I'm going to then pop another piece across the top which will hold it all into place nicely you don't have to pull the tape back off if you don't want to because it's not going to hurt one way or the other and we'll pop 
our sentiment piece onto the front of the card. I didn't bring my rubbish bin in with me and we're going to pop this onto the front of the card about like so so that the ribbon comes out both sides like that now what we're going to do is we're going to be using our piece of designer series paper and a piece of black and I'm going to cut out two handles out of here you will see in my thing there's two handles here Oh, well, there's a handle here. So I'm going to just pop this in at an angle just to cut out two black handles for my umbrellas. Okay, so and that's all the black we really need. So let's move all the rubbish out of the way. And then what we're going to do is we're going to stamp. I'll pull one of them off because I only want one at a time. Using my memento, I'm going to stamp my open umbrella onto my designer series paper let's pop the needle back on there for a moment and I'll pop that over there and I'm going to to then cut it out now this is quite an easy one to do so if you prefer to do it after you can Okay, so now I'm going to move that, remove that one, and I'm going to pop the other umbrella on. And I know that it goes that way, so he will go that way. So. so I'm going to stamp my umbrella here, and I'll pop the lid back on that for a moment, and cut out my other umbrella. Let's just chop these bits off the end so they're not going to be in the way. And let's move all that off there. So that I can then chop out my other umbrella pretty easily when I've got him straight in there. Now it's actually cut out another umbrella so what I will actually do is I'll stamp that one and give that one to my mum. So she'll have an umbrella this month, this week. So let's pop that one out of the way. And we don't, I mean, oh look, we have a handle for her too. So she has an umbrella with a handle. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put a tiny bit of glue on the back of these two. And glue my handles, which I've done in black, onto the back of them. they're out the way done and dusted and they can sit there oops that one's going to come and go wonky all right so that's our umbrellas sticky fingers on the trousers again with our larger umbrella like our open umbrella what we're going to do is we're going to pop him around about here like so so we're going to pop some dimensions on when your umbrella is facing you it will be on your left hand side so We'll pop a dimension on here and we will pop a little bit of glue turning that around on the other side of the umbrella and down the handle. Let's move that out of the way. We don't need that in the picture. And we're going to just then take the top of that and we're going to pop our umbrella onto the front of the card like so. So that's the front of our card done now. For the inside of our card, what we're going to do is we're going to then stick this, this one flat. So we're going to pop a bit, a bit of glue down the handle and then on the rest of the umbrella. And then we'll find the pin, wherever it may be, and pop that on the in, end there. That's it. And we will then glue our umbrella to the inside of the card. And I'm going to put him around about there. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my very small flower and my memento and I'm going to stamp the flower either side of the umbrella top. That. and then using my pens again I'm going to use my marker pens which I'm going to use my um, whatever colour this is called mango uh, melon mambo for the flowers If you've only got blender pens, you can do this with your blender pens. There's no right or wrong. I just find that it's just so tiny and I have both. So I might as well just use these. Oops, I don't want the colour. I want this one. Which is Daffodil Delight, just for the centres of the flowers. And then for my leaves, I will use my Regals, I don't know why I've got a pen on my table, for my leaves. And this is our card just about finished. Let's close up the front. Let's find some, I have still have a few of my little um, basic pearls. I've got quite a lot of the little ones so let's pop a couple of these little ones onto the front of the here in the flower in the centre of the flower in the centre of that flower and let's pop one of these big ones over here on the side there we go that's our card for this week I hope you've enjoyed this it's very very easy and I love this effect um, it's just so easy to do uh, I just use the clear embossing powder this one was my first attempt at it so I'm, I was really happy with the way it comes out and that's our card for today I hope you've enjoyed it if you would like to purchase any of these products from the catalog they are available until the, this is still um, in, in the mini catalogue. So they are available until the 2nd of June. I'm not sure whether they're going to be carrying over or not. So if you would like to purchase the So Sentimental set for the or the dies for it or the Under My Umbrella set, stamp set and punch, Please give me a call, email or PM. If you live in Australia, I can help you with your purchase. If not, please let me know and PM me and I will see if I can find somebody that can help you. I hope you've enjoyed today's project and I will see you again next week. Bye for now.